Folks, people, wagon, the people's car. You get a VW, it's like a part of you, it's like your anatomy. Every car looks like a friggin' suppository. You know, every car looks the same. I want to be able to pick my car out of the parking lot. The bus had become such an icon of free spiritedness and the open road. From the guy living in his car to the millionaire, everybody has a VW experience. Dave's first car was a 85 Toyota Camry. I was kind of surprised when he said he'd like to have a Volkswagen bus. He thought he was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking around on eBay one day, and this baby blue beauty just popped out at me. And it was crunched in, in the back, it was rusted out on the sides, and it was love at first sight. You, you, you're saying that you would want to buy a bus that you've only seen in photos, and then you're going to go and pick it up halfway across the states and drive it back. It'll be an adventure. <laughs> uh, we got one of the lights that just came on, the G and the orange light on the dashboard. It's only like it's burning in the bus right now. Oh, no. <laughs> this thing's breaking down every single day. We're just pouring money into this thing. There's no way that I'm going to get this vehicle to LA by myself. Dave started telling me about the air-cooled interstate rescue squad list. They're happy to come fix your bus for you or show you what to do if you don't know what you're doing. So we made it about five minutes out of Tucum Carry and then died down. All of a sudden, I look on the street and there are four buses, three greens. That's what we're about, the club, to help each other. It's been an honor to work with you guys and have you as our guest. This one's got a lot of love in it. It's in a lot of people's hearts. Hey! 